Hey everyone, I thought I would show you what is in my kindergartner's work boxes for um, tomorrow. Um, I fill his a little differently than I do my daughter's. Sometimes I'll put a bunch of stuff in there and then we'll just work through it throughout the week. He's not really working through any of his independently, so I can kind of put what I need in there for the week for a lot of stuff. Um, so that's the main difference, but I'll kind of show you what's in them. Um, as of right now, we're kind of midweek right now. Okay, so first, this we just started, um, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but we're going to try it for a couple weeks and see, but this is kind of like a morning binder. I've never really done a morning binder before. Last year with Ava, we tried like a kind of morning work folder, and it just dragged on and took way too long, but I wanted to try it, so we're going to try it again. Um, this is just the Confessions of a Homeschooler's packet. Um, I didn't use everything from it. Um, and some of it I laminated it and some of it I just left, um, for paper. So he can just go through and do, um, this one I laminated so he can use dry erase. He can go through and do these pages. And this I laminated just at the end of the week or whenever he fills the page, we'll just erase it and start again. Eventually I'll probably put a paper one in. Avis has the one where she writes her name once a month so you can kind of see the progression. I'll eventually probably do that for him, but... So that's the first thing that we have in his workbox. His workbox is just like Ava's. It's just a bin that I had gotten from the dollar spot at Target um, quite a while ago. I just printed up, made this label in, um, in, oh my, PowerPoint and laminated it. And then I use the same pouches for his that I do for Ava's. These are from Lakeshore Learning and I just made Ava's video. And I still can't remember what the darn things are called. So I will link them um, down below. But the first envelope he has is um, reading and phonics. And I just realized this is missing something. Just a second. All right. So here is what inside is inside his reading and phonics envelope. Um, this was the thing that I forgot to put in. So this is Words Their Way Word, Word Study Notebook Level A. Um, this is part of like a larger program that they use in schools, I think. We don't do any other part of the program. I just like um, the pages that are in here. And the way that we use them, actually, let me see if I can find the one that he did this week. Um, sorry, it's all the paper crinkling. Here we go. So I just have him cut out the, you can kind of see like what it looks like. I don't even think you can buy this anymore, actually. Um, I got this quite a while ago. Um, but anyway, so I just have him cut out the pictures and then I have him sort and just glue them on. I think the way that these are used is you kind of just sort them and then store them in an envelope maybe. So I think there's an envelope. Yeah, there's an envelope in here. Um, but this is just how I do it. It's good for him because it keeps him occupied with cutting these things out. So let's him practice his scissor skills and gluing skills a little bit. And it's a great little phonics um, practice. So um, we don't necessarily do them every day. But today I pulled one out. I hadn't planned to. But I pulled one out because I needed him to be occupied doing something for a little bit. And this, he can pretty much do this on his own if I explain it to him. So... Anyway, so I just have been keeping this in our envelope, and then if I want to pull one out, um, I can just pull one out. So he has that. And then we have our All About Reading. I purchased level two for him this year, thinking that we would be really consistent and finish level one um, kind of in the spring and over the summer, but we didn't because I, yeah, because I didn't. So I just keep the teacher's manual in here and then I have the um, student like activity book I just keep out at my desk and I tear out whatever we're going to need um, there. So for his tomorrow, we're on like lesson 19, I think, and we actually did a two part. We, we've been spending a lot of time reviewing because we took such a long break from it. So I just have the page in here that for him to read from um, and then the sticker chart, which we lost the stickers for. So. Yeah, I've used smiley face lines. Whatever. It works. And then I keep the reader. We're still on the first reader. And then I just use this little plastic box that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And these are all the cards that we have gone through so far. 
Um, and so we've just been kind of reviewing these. And what I've been doing for him for review is this was in a packet um, that All About Reading had on, I don't know if it's still there, on their website. Um, it had a whole bunch of other things with it. It was really cool. There's like, um, there were pages to put together like a game board. There were little dog bones with alphabet letters on them. And I think you were supposed to feed the letters to the dog like as you name the letter, which were beyond that. But he loves, loves, loves dogs. So I went ahead and put this piece together and just kind of taped it to a piece of cardboard. And so when we review every day, we've been reviewing, you know, a handful of cards. Um, he will take the card when he reads the word, then he can feed it to the puppy. So that motivates him. So I have those in there. Um, the, the puppy head is too big to fit in there without bending. So I've just been um, just keeping it in the work box like that. And then the other thing, which I just keep in the back of the work box, these are um, new to us. I have a video up on these already. These are the double-sided um, magnetic letter tiles from Lakeshore Learning. And we've been using those with our All About Reading instead of the letter tiles that they recommend. So we just like these better. So tomorrow we will finish lesson 19. We'll do a little bit of the word card review. Um, he'll read. There were actually two stories to read and I decided to split them between two days just because we're kind of um, a little rusty because we haven't been, as I said, consistent with this. So um, we did one story today and he'll do the other one tomorrow. And then um, if I need this, it'll be in there, but he already did one today, so I probably won't have him do one tomorrow. So that is what we have for reading and right. art. On to handwriting. So I have probably mentioned in other videos that he um, he's a lefty. And I don't know if that plays into this at all or if it's just, again, my lack of consistency with working with him um, in the past. But he struggles a little bit with handwriting. Um, so I have a few things in the envelope and I just kind of pull things out based on how I th think he will work that day. So the first thing, um, this is what we used the first day. I just had him write his name um, on this little magnetic strip that we got from Lakeshore Learning. I just have the um, dry erase um, eraser in there too. Um, and then I also have one of these, my first draw and write journals from Lakeshore. This one is nice because there's only two lines. So we've only done one in here. We, we're only on our third day of school. So um, this we don't do this every day. But I do like, I have, I had Ava keep a similar journal when she was his age. Or actually she was a little bit younger. Um, and it's just fun to go back and look. So, um, so I might have him write in here. Um, I might have him write some words on here that we learned in our All About Reading lesson that day. Um, I kind of just fly by the seat of my pants with him, him, and so I have several things in the envelope so I can kind of decide right then and there what it is we're going to do. We just started using the Zaner Blozer handwriting book that I got for him. Um, like, we haven't even started letters yet. That's how recently we started it. So he did, like, the maze. I'd like to try to do this every day. Um but we'll see. So he just did the um, vertical lines today. And then tomorrow, I think my plan is to do the horizontal line pages. Um, and then we'll see. But one thing that I added in for, to, for this is for tomorrow, but I added this in for today. I, um, I hope these stay where I got them from. I had got these a long time ago that I used for Ava. And I found that I still have them. Oh, good. They're still in here. Simply Kinder. And it's just these little rhymes that kind of help them remember how to make the letter. So as we were doing some things today where he had to do handwriting, um, if I saw him kind of making a letter majorly incorrectly, um, I would pull this out and I would read him the rhyme and kind of trace it with my finger and show him how to do it. So this has been really helpful. This worked really well for Ava. I don't know why I didn't pull this out sooner, but you know hindsight right so I have that that we can use I also have um, this sheet um, with numbers 
also on the back. And then I just have a pad of paper in here. So, um, but today kind of how we use this is we, we didn't do this today. We did this yesterday. Um, we did the a couple pages in the handwriting book and then we did the journal. And so when he was writing, if he was struggling with a letter, then I pulled out the little rhymes and the binder and we did those kind of as part of this. So tomorrow I plan to do the horizontal lines and we'll see what else he's up for. All right, here is his social studies. We're just combining history, geography, all of that and calling it social studies this year. And... So this week, this will actually last probably longer than this week, um, because we really typically only do social studies. The plan is only to do it twice a week. But I have this book from Cornellage. This is from their kindergarten um, geography and history um, section. And my plan for tomorrow is to just read chapter one, which just talks about where you live. It's actually, it's only these two pages. Um, I also tossed in here a me on the map activity. This one is specific to Ohio that I got on Teachers Pay Teachers. And you just kind of um, cut these out and put them together. I was trying to find one that was kind of super simple for him. So I think that that'll work. So I'm hoping that we're going to do that tomorrow, but I don't know. We also have the me on the map book. And we keep this in here too. So um, today I thought, since we're gonna talk about maps tomorrow, let's go over what a map is today. So we just did um, the first section in this grade K, skill sharpeners for geography, which is what is a map. So we just did this section. Well, apparently we glued, okay. And that's it. So we will work through this. Um, and I also have the What Your Kindergartner Needs to Know, and they have a social studies section. So that may be in here at some point, but this is what we have in here for this week and specifically um, some things I want to use tomorrow. All right, for science and STEM, um, this is what I have for him. We, I purchased the kindergarten version of the Smart Start STEM but we didn't finish the preschool one last year, so I figure we might as well work through this too. It'll allow us to kind of go through the whole school year with them probably. Um, and then I also have a skill sharpener science for him, and we have a box of uh, like kitchen science or something, I think, from Lakeshore. So anyway, but for this week, um, we have this in here. We already did one of these this week, but the one we're going to do next is what animals need. And they, um, the project is they build a bird feeder. So I just went ahead and put in the glue, the popsicle sticks, and some um, string in there. And then I just added in another little um, bird book. He loves birds. And this one we just got from the library. So I thought I would throw this one in there too, um, just for him to kind of look at. And yeah, I had a couple others that I was going to toss in, but... We don't need them, and I can't find them right now. So this is more than enough. So that is what he has for us. Okay, and lastly, we have math. Um, this is not the math curriculum we intended to use for this year. Um, when I went to kind of get it all ready, I realized he wasn't quite there yet because we haven't really done any new instruction in math um, in several months, and even though I had planned on it. So we're going to hold off on that. I still had a kindergarten... Um, math from Pearson that we had gotten and I found we had stopped using it in preschool um, because it was just kind of tedious and he already knew the stuff and um, so we just kind of set it aside but I found if I skipped ahead to like topic six um, it was a little bit better for him so anyway we've done the first two lessons in um, topic six so I just have the rest of topic six here we'll just do probably six three for tomorrow so just a few pages and then the other thing these were some um, word cards at the beginning of the lesson so we've just been reading through them each day um, when we do math so I have those in there and then what we've been doing 
other days this week is I just have, these are like place value cards. I think they're from a Becca. Um, but I have these and we've just, we haven't been using this side of them. We've just been using this side and I just have him pick one or two and he goes through and he has, today he had the math, like the linking cubes and yesterday he did, um, dog man erasers and I just have him pick two different, um, colors or two different patterns or type of eraser and show me the different ways, um, that you would add to make that number. So, um, I just pulled some apple, um, erasers for tomorrow. So, you know, he could do two green and three red or four green and one red. So I just have him pick whatever two numbers he wants to do and show me the different ways he can make that number with two different colors. So that is what he has for math for tomorrow. Um, we also have, can't really see it over there. That's kind of our technology cart. We have the Osmo and we have the numbers, uh, numbers letters, and I think the tangrams, the shapes one. Um, so like today he did, um, uh, the numbers one and that was really fun for him and um, then we also have on this shelf over here these are a bunch of different just little activities and games and things so um, like that's where we keep our math like linking cubes and things like that so um, he needs a lot of breaks um, so every day we do math reading and phonics and handwriting and then we either do um, social studies or science we don't do both and then like I said he gets a lot of breaks kind of in between um, but that's pretty much what he does in his uh, morning binder which we just started today so that is what I have for him for tomorrow and as I said kind of the rest of the week so let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys later